So, paano ba natin i-achieve yung linearity kapag uh, yung scatter plot natin eh, curve? So, ito yung example niya. So, meron daw tayong mga isda na nahuli, rockfish, yung uh, isda natin. Uh, dun sa data set natin, ang isang rockfish na may length na 5.2 cm, e eh, titimbang daw ng 2 grams. At kung 8.5 cm naman yung rockfish, 8 grams naman. So, dito sa data set natin, meron tayong 20 na rockfish. At from dun sa 20 na rockfish na yon gumawa tayo ng uh, model um, using our calculator. At yung predicted weight natin will be equal to 2, negative 299.04 plus 25.20 times the length with the correlation of 0.95. So, once again, ito yung list square regression model natin. Now, Paano naman natin masasabi na yung model nga natin na to will be an accurate predictor using, uh, will be an accurate predictor kapag ka gumamit tayo ng mga rockfish. Halimbawa, um, yung rockfish natin na nakuha, let's say, is 10 centimeters. So, ano kaya ang magiging predicted na timbang niya using our model? So, pakita natin. So, ito yung data set. Ito yung complete data set nung uh, rockfish natin. Meron tayong 20 na rockfish. At uh, kung i natin to, length will be our independent variable or explanatory variable with our weight as, as our response variable. Makikita nyo na yung scatter plot natin curve. So dito pa lang alam na natin na magiging kaduda-duda na yung model natin to predict an outcome. So, tingnan pa natin, syempre kailangan natin siyang i-prove uh, pa using a graph, which is your residual plot. So, pakita yung uh, least square model, and then yung residual plot. And as you will notice, yung residual plot natin, eh, merong pattern, which is parabolic or U-shape. So, kung ganyan yung residual plot natin, alam natin na hindi natin matatrust yung model natin. So, anong gagawin natin doon sa mga data set natin, sa mga isda natin na nahuli at na sinukat at tinambang? Hindi naman porket curved yung uh, scatter plot, eh, i-disregard na natin yung data set natin. In statistics, meron tayong paraan para yung uh, scatter plot natin, eh, maging mas tuwid, mas linear siya, at yung residual plot natin ay eh, magkaroon ng, um, ng maging random siya. So, yun ang gagawin natin. So, ang gagawin natin transformation will be to cube the length. So, let's transform our explanatory variable by taking the cube of the length. So, ang bawat isa na length na nakuha natin, ang gagawin natin, erase natin siya sa 3. So, our new EV, which is EV cubed, will be 140.608, 614.125, and so on. So ngayon, sa bago nating model, i-disregard na natin tong original na length. Magpo-focus tayo dito sa transformed um, length natin against the weight. So kapag ka kinuha natin yung model, uh, kinumpute natin, gumamit tayo ng calculator, yung uh, transformed least, least square regression model natin will be predicted weight equals 4.0659 plus point 0147 length cubed. So, ito na yung bago nating equation o model. Kasi, uh, tinatry natin mag-achieve ng linearity. So, tingnan natin kung ma-achieve nga natin yung linearity kapag kakinyub natin yung length. So, let's have a new graph. Um, this will be our new length. length or transformed length. Ang gagawin natin is magkakaroon tayo ng length and erase natin siya sa cube. Okay. So, ito na yung mga values natin. So, ngayon, i-graph natin siya. Yung transformed length natin will still be our explanatory variable. And our weight, which is still original, hindi natin binago yung weight, will still be our response variable. Nakikita nyo yung ating scatter plot ay mas linearized na. So, to make sure, let's see how our residual plot will look like 
kapag ginap natin siya. Yan. So, nakikita nyo na yung kaibahan ng dalawa. Ito, yung original na model natin, na hindi natin transform yung length. At ito naman yung transformed model natin noong kinube natin o erase natin sa 3 yung length. So, mas linear na yung, mod, yung scatter plot natin at yung residual plot natin, eh, mas random na, nawala ng form. So, ngayon, graphically, pwede na natin i-trust yung uh, model natin. Now, let's try naman na mag-experiment dun sa mga given values to check if we can accurately or we can uh, trust our new model. So, meron tayong dalawang model, yung original at saka yung transform. Ito yung model natin dun sa original na least square regression. Ito naman yung transform, nung kinube natin yung length. So, from dun sa data set natin, dun sa original 20 na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, kapag daw yung isda, yung rockfish, is 36.4 cm, titimbang daw siya ng 719 grams. So, pag ginamit natin yung original model using 36.4, let's see kung ano yung ibibigay sa ating um, weight nung rockfish natin. So, using this model, plug in the value of 36.4 dun sa length. Meron tayong 618.33 grams. So, sabi natin hindi malayo kasi 719, 100 grams lang na diferensya. So, compare naman natin kung ang ginamit natin yung transform the model. So, sa transform model natin, i-cube down natin yung length using these numbers. At yung predicted weight natin ngayon is 713.03 grams. So, alam na natin between dun sa original at sa transform model kung sino yung pagkakatiwalaan natin. So, na-prove na natin siya sa scatter plot, na-prove na natin siya sa residual plot, and itong third proof natin, numerically, makikita natin na mas malapit yung value ng weight ng isda kapag yung transform model yung ginamit natin.